Now, Eric and I, we've come up with an idea. We've got the sea urchins from earlier, and we're going to cook up a dish with them. Now, I'm new to sea urchins, not something I've spent a lot of time with, but Eric, Eric's a sea urchin expert. So I'm going to get Eric on opening the sea urchins. I'm going to do a little dish down here, which I'll tell you about as we go, and then I've got a little surprise for serving up later. So, mate, these things, how do we go about them? You, uh, have, you have the sea urchin here, you have the bottom, there's a mouth mouthpiece yep. here. Yeah. And you want to cut the bottom off, so to speak, like opening a can almost. And you take the mouthpiece out and you got access to uh, the inside of the sea urchin and you, you can pick out what you want to eat. So you can pick out, was it the eggs we're eating? Yes. So essentially it's the eggs of the sea urchin we're after, kind of the roe, I guess. Yeah. And that makes sense, we had a lot of roes back where I come from, cod roe, salmon roe, lumpfish roe, that sort of stuff. Same sort of thing. Yeah. So you do the uh, urchins, and I'll crack on over here. Right. I'm going to knock up some uh, eggs with this. I think an egg scrambled with some sea urchin eggs, and they'll be very nice. The eggs are lovely accompaniment for the sea urchin eggs themselves. So I've got my bowl here and some eggs. I'm going to pop two in here. Yolks and whites. Into there a little salt. And a grind of pepper and give them a little whip with my whisk down here. Aha, uh -huh, I see exactly what you mean. And the, the eggs are the yellow things there? Yeah. This is the edible bit? Yes, that is a really tasty bit. And I can eat this raw, can't I? Like an oyster? Yeah. Oh yeah. That it tastes good. just of the sea, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I like them. And I think they'll work particularly well with the egg. Quite salty. Go well, I'd say. So just whip those eggs up there. I've got my fry pan down here next to the fire, which I'm going to pop on. Eggs can just sit there waiting to go on, and I've got some butter here. But what I'm really impressed with is some of the stuff I've got out of the garden. If I just take these off here, I'm going to use some carrot leaves. It's the top of the young carrots. Really has a really carroty taste to it without actually eating the carrot itself. I've got some little chives here. I'm going to break them in. But keep them small. The whole thing needs to be small. You'll understand why when I get finished here. A uh, little bit of the old uh, chervil I got here down in the garden. And what I'm trying to make here is just a little ploosh, a little salad ploosh, the tiniest, most gentlest little ploosh of salad to go on top. I've also got some celery leaf here. Celery leaf will be nice, that taste of celery. Break him in there, like that. And you're winning there? Yeah, uh, can, can you hand me the bowl, please? Yeah, top him up into there. Thank you. And I'm going to need those in just a second. Yeah. With my eggs, there's nothing in there other than salt and pepper. For me, scrambled eggs is all about the eggs. No milk, no cream, just the eggs. Plenty of air beaten into them, though, and they go straight in to that hot frying pan. We've got to keep moving them around the bottom of the pan, or else they will start to burn, which we don't want. Eric, how are you going? I'm just about done. Here you go. So those are my eggs. Got a shell there. Yeah. Now, with these sea urchin eggs, I'm just going to drop them into the mix. Give them a generous portion of that. And just continue to stir that up. My thinking is I'll serve the sea urchin dish back in there. That's a good idea. <laughs> I'm full of good ideas. Rightio, that's ready. This is my shell here, is it? Yeah. A nice big portion of this. Straight in the shell. It looks good. I quite, I quite like that, to be fair. That does look good, eh? It does. I've got my little salad here. I'm just going to pop that on top, Eric. Just a tiny bit of salad, really. Now, we've used some plates in this series, but this is one that you weren't expecting to see. A lump of cap ice from up on the cap. How old is that going to be, Eric? Oh, somewhere between 1,000 and 10,000 years. That's incredible. We're using plates that are 10,000 years old. He can go up on there. Just like that. And you know what else I bought? Vodka. Vodka, oh. Made from the same, the very same, ice cap ice. So we've got ice cap ice vodka, we've got ice cap ice plate, Eric and mine sea urchins, with a dash of scrambled eggs. <laughs>